Hello everyone and welcome back to Factorio C Block. I'm Bobbin and you're watching episode 8 and we are going to begin the episode by boosting up the power a little bit. I've been sort of looking at power consumption here. Uh, it's been holding pretty steady. Uh, I've seen it go up as high as almost 4 megawatts and you can tell from the production bar how much of it's getting used up. It looks like we may need some more power after what we do today, and we'll definitely need some more if I add some more electrolyzers, which I do intend to do. So let's go ahead and just get started right now by adding a little power. So I'm going to go ahead and run the water across there, and I already have a boiler in my inventory and um, a couple of steam engines. So we are now doubling the rate at which we can burn up fuel. That could be bad, but I think we'll get by. And I will take and put an inserter on this if I can find one. There we go. Pop it down. And we should now be able to generate uh, power faster. Now I have already gone over here and set aside space for expanding my wood pellet production and my conversion into fuel and I'm gonna do that between episodes there is enough of a buffer here to last long enough for me to do that even with the construction that we're gonna be doing so I think we're gonna be okay on that in the short term uh, so I'll wait until after the end of the episode to go and expand this I'm just gonna double this I've already got a blueprint set up for it uh, let's see I got several blueprints set up I'm gonna use a couple of them today but um, I'll just take and um, more or less pop that down here, make any adjustments that need to be made, and uh, I'll do a similar thing down here on the fuel production, basically just cloning this setup right next to itself. So anyway, um, what is on the agenda today that's going to start drinking up more power? Well, metal production. Uh, I have extended my charcoal line up the bus here in preparation for what I'm going to do. I also took and there used to be stone production and landfill production over here. It still exists. It's been tucked down into this corner where it's a little out of the way. So this is all going to get ripped up here in a minute and we're going to start uh, laying out two pieces first thing I'm going to do is near the bus I'm going to set up my uh, sulfur wastewater processing first because I'm going to have to have that in order to deal with all of the waste that this new process generates. This process of producing metal actually this is something that was added to the mod pack. Uh, you can sort of tell that uh, maybe uh, well you can't really tell. I will speculate that it was done without the involvement of Angel because if Angel was involved in it this would generate a waste product that you would have to deal with and it doesn't. So that is kind of the theme for all of Angel's mods is that they generate waste products for just about everything you do and so you've for everything good you get out, you have to deal with a problem. So we're going to take and rip all that up in a little bit and continue on there. Let me see if there was anything else other than, I mean, I added a bunch of landfill to create space up here so that I can do that. And um, I did do some setup down here in advance and set up blueprints for it. Uh, there was a little research that I did between episodes. I finished up a tree Arboretum and Electrochemics Lab. Those were the two things that were in research queue that were prone to crashing the system. So I went ahead and did them one at a time using the old interface for research and that worked just fine. I also did water treatment because we're going to need it for this metal processing. That gave me the ability to process the sulfuric wastewater and I also did electrochemics advancement which is the green science pack so I don't have the materials yet to make green science packs 
but I do have the, um, the technology. So we have the technology, but not the power. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and set up my metal production over here, and then between episodes, I'm going to expand my power, and I'm going to have to rearrange all of this somehow to make it a little more reasonable when I do that. Uh, I probably won't do that on camera. And assuming that power is holding up okay after I get every all of that done and it has a chance to restabilize, I may add some more electrolyzers, maybe another, mm, possibly as many as three. I doubt I will double that, but um, we're definitely going to add some more production. My metal production has increased quite a bit since the last episode. The new electrolyzers are helping, uh, so I haven't had any major issues there. So let's go ahead without any um, further distraction and start taking all this apart. I'm going to go ahead and um, pull up this. And we'll take apart all these bits and stuff them in our pocket. And we'll take a look at what I've got on the blueprints. I just I set these up temporarily in the uh, workshop area and just created blueprints of them so that I wouldn't partly so that I wouldn't struggle with it on camera because some of the stuff uh, it's just a little hard to figure out exactly where I want to place things, especially on the sulfur processing. That was a little more difficult to think through. All right, so we got all this cleared out now. It's a little dark. So let's pull the blueprint up that I made for the sulfur recycling. And what we have here is a couple of hydro plants. And I want to go ahead and leave a little bit of space between so I can get items in and out of here. And I also want to bring it over here and sort of line it up flush with the beginning of this. I've been leaving space between the, the bus area and actually putting in facilities because I I want to have that extra space in case I need to cram something in there. So let's go ahead and put that down. Now one of the technologies that I got earlier was the uh, nanobot thing. Let's see if we can get that to work here. If I go, I need to make the nano emitter, which is a weapon effectively. Let's make one of those. And it is a little slow to make. It's making it. We're going to need some ammunition for it. The ammunition is the, we've got nanobot termite bots. Those are really just for chopping down trees. And uh, nanobot construction bots, which are the ones that we want. We're going to have to make a bunch of these. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make 20 of them, and I hope that will be enough. Um, so it's making those. Not these. These do take. They take basic circuit boards, and I will go ahead and say I've been sort of sneaking around behind your back and making. I went into the uh, workshop area a couple of episodes ago, and I just didn't mention it. I set up a little brown algae setup very similar to what I had at the beginning of the game in like the very first episode and made a bunch more of the stuff that I needed for the basic circuit boards. I'm going to set that up permanently pretty soon and probably get those circuit boards on the bus. I just need to actually have more material coming through. Okay, so we have the gun and we have the ammo and the way that you get this to work is it has to be your selected weapon so let's just hit I think it's tab yeah okay and it starts building things at least things that are in range alright so we've built that and as we do this it will deplete the ammunition, so I've, I've already depleted two of the 20 that I made. They're gone. Uh, I still have, I think it looks like, um, uh, maybe 
actually it looks like I did 2.6 of them depleted so definitely don't want to use too many of those early I'll eventually have to automate that and eventually I'll have con real construction robots and a personal roboport and won't have to do that but that's still a ways out so let's look at what this does exactly um, there's a belt coming in this is going to bring in sulfur and in the short term it is not actually going to bring in sulfur from the bus I'm just going to put a box down here that contains sulfur and pull stuff out so why don't I go ahead and just lay out where that belt is going to go I think it's going to come in something like this and I've got a box here so I can just put a box there and one of these to pull stuff out so this will get sulfur in it I don't have any sulfur in it right now that's fine so the sulfur is going to come over here and it's going to go into a chemical plant I'm going to have to have an oxygen line brought over so I need to bring over oxygen from the bus let's go ahead and do that and I'm going to have to not quite going to be able to do it that way and do it like that and do I have enough I don't really have enough stone pipes for it so I'll just go ahead and use copper so to get that over here put it through here and let's see oxygen is that one so it's the one nearest the edge so we might have to do a little rearrangement here and maybe close these off so that they don't intersect another pipe at some point but for the moment we have oxygen and I can go ahead and put it in here so we have oxygen here we're gonna have sulfur coming in on the belt and going in the side alright then this goes up into this other chemical plant that's making sulfuric acid this immediately gets the um, sulfuric acid but I also need to have or it gets the sulfur dioxide but I also need to have purified water and purified water comes from two sources here both of these hydro plants produce it as an as a an output one of them is actually dedicated to producing purified water but I've used a top up valve on it which means it will only output into the piping if the piping has less than 80 percent in it and that is so that I can make sure that there is room to accommodate the uh, purified water from the other hydro plant which is doing sulfuric wastewater cleaning basically this whole process of producing metals is going to produce a waste product called sulfuric wastewater and I need to get rid of that somehow I could clarify it but if I do that uh, I'm gonna need a whole lot more sulfur this will allow me to recycle my sulfur it will also produce some purified water so I'm sort of recycling my purified water that went into the acid that gets consumed as well not all of it both of these are lossy uh, and I'm also getting some mineralized water on the output and the mineralized water of course uh, I can just throw onto the bus over here let's see what I can do about that can't quite go all the way across there put that there okay so this can just get uh, converted into fuel basically it's gonna it's gonna go on to the bus and will be disposed of that way I will have to make a change over here on this system between episodes to make sure that I'm able to eject that that I'm always able to eject that waste product otherwise this will come to a halt so I'll probably put a top-up valve really I'll probably scoot this thing over just a little and put a top-up valve in there that's sort of the minimum change that I could make I may have to go and do a lot more rearrangement over here that's why I'm not doing it right now okay so this just has fresh water for input on the other one 
where we're making it and it's got saline and as an output and the saline is not in my um, blueprint because I didn't really have space to put it in there when I was working in my workshop area so let me just go ahead and that will get clarified the saline will just get destroyed eventually maybe not but for now that's what we're gonna have to do with it so let me go ahead and supply power to all this and figure out a way to get some water in here I can bring it in from up above that is the cheap way to do it and that's probably what I should do um, so let's go ahead and do that that's not gonna work mixing up all these pipes terribly um, I'm getting a, towards the end of the line on my stone pipes but I still kinda wanna get the to use them for low volume things like this but in any case okay so we have the hydro plant is producing purified water it's going in here um, because of the top up valve it's now full but it's full at about, uh, just over 80 percent so that's good uh, the saline did get destroyed over here in the clarifier you didn't see it but we can tell this is empty nothing's come in on sulfuric yet let's take and run down and get some sulfur and put it in the box now the truth is this will very slowly deplete sulfur but after my initial sulfuric acid production in this I think it's going to be a long time before it runs out of sulfur so I'm not going to have to uh, this is not going to be a busy belt on the line and so for a while this one box will will hold up for some time okay this is actually set up with a priority splitter so that it will prefer to take the sulfur from the recycling rather than bringing in new sulfur on a going forward basis so we've produced sulfuric acid or um, sulfur dioxide here it's gone in and we've got sulfuric acid ready to go over here so that takes care of that part of this process the next part of this process I'm actually going to be using slag and sulfuric acid to produce metal that is done in this piece and I th it's gonna require some additional inputs one of them is slag the other one is um, charcoal and I'm gonna go ahead and set this up here and maybe make a duplicate over here I don't I'm gonna have to put some landfill down to place down the duplicate let me grab more landfill over here hopefully I have enough oh uh, where'd that go there we go 390 I think that'll be plenty let me just move this around and it'll place all these things if I've got them in my inventory now I did have all of those Just make another copy of this I think mm, yeah that looks like it's gonna build correctly so I'm short um, definitely an assembly plant Go ahead and make one of those and okay it will place the pipes though so it looks like I've got everything I need in there uh, except an underground there all right so definitely the nanobots is a nice mod <laughs> all right so what's gonna happen here is this machine this liquefier is taking slag and sulfuric acid and it is going to produce slag slurry the slag slurry goes into a filtration unit where 
charcoal filters are used to convert the slag slurry and purified water into what is this output and a, a used filter slurry uh, this is a let's see it's taking slag slurry as input I forget what this particular one is called but the other one over here is sulfuric wastewater uh, it's called let's just go ahead and set the metals up on this I want sapphire and I will take stereotype for now and we're gonna do rubite and we're gonna do bobmonium okay and these all take mineral sludge that's the output of this process mineral sludge and it's the one we want the other two items are things that we got to deal with remember it's it's angels mods so the filters are gonna sort of go through a circulating process in this machine here let me go ahead and put in some filters five is the number that are processed at once by putting seven in there will be a couple of extras just sort of floating around so that it it will be able to get um, its work done while this machine, before this machine actually runs out okay uh, there's still a little bit that has to go on here I think I didn't get everything into my um, template it hasn't actually been tested it, other than just sort of setting it up and deciding that it works nicely the carbon is going to come in on this middle long line through here charcoal actually so we'll go ahead and pull that off of there the f used filters are coming through the other way so this has everything it needs so we've got to get slag in down here and I think until I rework all that just for testing this I'm gonna go ahead and probably just use a box and I'll put some slag I'll take one of these machines over here and we'll turn that belt so that it can't actually output and come back in a minute and pick up some slag now it's gonna need sulfuric acid that's on this pipeline down here so I need to get that down there and I guess the simplest way to do that is gonna be just to come out of here and we'll run a pipe down to right there and connect it there and so now we have sulfuric acid coming in here I hope I don't see any coming in what am I missing it is producing new sulfuric acid over here to replace something but it doesn't seem to have actually put any in there for some reason okay so we have it in the pipes but it's not going into the machine for whatever reason and it may just be that it wants some slag before it will pick it up we'll see we'll, we've still got to give the slag a minute so the other item that's going to come in here uh, let me go ahead and put this down for where the slag is going to come in on the box it will come in on a belt but I'm not going to put it on a belt right now because I don't have all of that stuff set up over there okay uh, the other piece that comes in is charcoal I have actually done some of what I need for the charcoal over here let me uh, take care of that it's gonna come in on a belt probably I guess um, it can't be that close I haven't left as much room here as I would have liked but that that will be fine we'll bring it up through here and maybe cross it over right here and have it come up there so we'll put an underground here and here and what I'm gonna do to get it in this location is just kind of awful because it's already in use I think I'll just go ahead and rip this out for the moment I think that will be fine I'm gonna go tear all that up in a minute anyway 
let's go ahead and split right here. We're going to use a splitter and we're going to use a priority setting uh, just to get the charcoal through and leave the carbon behind. So here we're going to output and it wants to output on the left so we're just going to tell it to send the carbon through on the left since that's the item that we we don't want and left is the side that we aren't using uh, carbon carbon it's right here okay so the charcoal should come through here and um, Ooh, is that going to work? Because that's going to send the carbon through, but it's never going to send any charcoal through, I don't think. That is probably not the best approach. Let's do it this way instead. We'll use two splitters. The first one will split off um, The first one will split the stream. The second one will actually do the filtering. So all the carbon will go out this way. And it's going to get stuck. There's probably a better way to do this. I have not used these splitters in this way. But we'll see. So now we just have the charcoal coming off of here. Uh, well, we, w we would have that anyway because I've still got it splitting. Okay, but the, the carbon does stop here and it doesn't continue on. So we're good there. So we got carbon coming through. And it should go all the way through here. Uh, oh, I bet the reason that the acid hasn't picked up is I haven't got any power in here yet. That may, in fact, be it. Let's go ahead and get some power in here. Try to. Sp it's not going to be perfect, but let's try to space it out a little bit neatly. And there and there and maybe keep it all linked up in the middle okay so everything has power uh, this still has not pulled in acid that's a little awkward um, but I think we've got everything hooked up I just need to get some slag in here now so we did get our filters done we've loaded filters in here and in here oh I've got to hook up purified water as well okay uh, I've got purified water over here where it's making sulfuric acid. And let's bring it over here. So now I have purified water on all those. And purified water is going to be something that has to get produced quite a bit by this thing. We are recycling some but it's not necessarily going to be a major amount of it. All right, so let's get some slag, put it in here, and see what happens. This machine should have, we got 184 of it. That'll be a good starting amount. All right, so that did fire up this machine as soon as it got some slag and this one is also firing up. Alright, and so these should be starting to accumulate some ore. It'll be a little bit slow, but we've got some some of each type in here now. That's pretty good. So, for now, I'm just going to take and crush these and smelt them directly. That is not how most of it will get done eventually. Most of it will eventually go through ore sorting. When I go through ore sorting for this part of the early game, I probably won't produce steratite at all. I'll probably just produce um, sapphirite because sorting sapphirite 
yields iron and copper in a, a two to one ratio and that's about the ratio you need in the early game so that's actually not a bad deal at all uh, you do lose some efficiency on that it's it's more productive to just go and crush it directly from all the different types but you have a lot more flexibility with it down the road when you sort it okay a um, little too close one two And the reason I say too close is because I'm going to go ahead and use these for shipping the materials over. All right, so sapphire and steritite and rubite and bobmonium. Same story here, except we are also going to be going into furnaces. I'm going to need two more furnaces. Let's see here. They're over here. Oh, and let's change this because I want to output on this just the crushed sapphire. And on this one, just the crush steritite. And same for rubite and bobmonium. These are also going to generate um, the usual crushed stone byproduct. And I can't put that out on this belt or I will have other issues. All right, so power uh, what do we got going on here I don't have I was expecting them to run a little longer I don't know that it's necessarily wrong that they haven't We get some in each of those belts. I just didn't have enough slag over here to, to generate a whole lot of metal. Okay, and so what's going to have to happen over here is I'm going to run this. I'm going to do a little more landfill, run this bus a little higher up, run the fuel all the way up, and have it come in here. Now, one other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get crushed stone out of these, and I've got to deal with it some way. The way that most people deal with it, I think, is probably to go ahead and convert it into um, landfill. I'm not going to do that because I've got water right here. So crushed stone plus water will give me mineralized water, and I have a bus that I can conveniently dump that on because I've got a, a bus line for it. So I'll just go ahead and use that a little more constructively, I think, than just creating landfill out of it. You still got to have landfill, but I think I would rather go ahead and send the byproducts all off to um, producing other things that I want besides landfill. So that's going to take care of this one. Uh, between episodes, I am going to probably go ahead and use some of these and make some circuits and start upgrading a few I mean these will not be among them but I'll start upgrading a few targeted machines including some assembling machines and um, just sort of get ready for what's going to be coming up pretty soon I do need to go and not forget to upgrade my fuel production we can see that right now uh, it looks like we 
this one's unloading. So really, we've got all of these machines running. It's not going fast enough. Uh, fuel production will increase some just by upgrading these two assembling machines. Uh, and, and a few a few other things like that. I'm going to tidy up some stuff. I've got to fix all this. So I do have some between episodes chores to do. But uh, this is actually massive progress at this point because this will open up uh, circuits and green research. Probably not on a large scale at the moment. I'm not ready to automate it. But I will be able to do some targeted things and and really get started on moving forward. So thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.